Alright, my little T-Sales, welcome back. Scorpion72, and today I'm going to take a look at my favorite thing to start. Toy Fair, New York Toy Fair. Um, we're going to recap the Mezco stuff that we saw. Red Skull should be out in about a month or two. Daredevil's already out. Deadpool's out later on this year, along with Spider-Man. The new figures that they showed were uh, Doctor Strange, Wolverine, and Iron Man. I may not collect Marvel Legends anymore, but due to the Netflix series, I will be getting these figures. So you have Daredevil, Elektra, Jessica Jones, and the P One of the big showings is going to be the Spider-Man. Spider-Man movie is coming out in May, and they have figures for him as well. You have him in his first uh, outing costume, as well as some of the other characters. You have Cosmic Spider-Man, his regular costume. The Vulture here is actually kind of like the build a figure type piece, meaning that you have to get all the figures if you want to get his wings. It's not you just getting the Vulture by himself. Uh, classic ones to show you here Tombstone, you just saw the classic Beetle. Moon Knight, finally making the moonlight there. And the Spider Man with the wings underneath his uh, armpits, as shown in the movie. There's also Spider Man, Iron Man 2 pack with unmasked Peter Parker head. Probably what would be one of the biggest movies once again is the Guardians of the Galaxy. Here you have the six inch line based uh, directed for kids and then you have the Marvel Legends scale line directed for collectors and kids as well. Um, the build of figure for this wave is going to be Mantis, it's the other female figure that a new character will be showing in the movie. So it's like three females in this wave which they seem to be response to the lack of female hero heroines that they have not produced in the past movies. You have an exclusive two pack with Star Lord and his father Ego in human form. And where will Guardians of the Galaxy be without dancing Groot? So, this is a dancing Groot. You position in any which way with his arms and legs and stuff. And whatever music is playing, mainly if it's from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, uh, he will start dancing. As for the exclusives, the way things are looking, it looks like they're going to be Fantastic Four, mostly at Walgreens, who is already out there, and Human Torch is next to come out at Walgreens only as exclusive. Um, also, you have a two-pack exclusive of Classic Kind Vulture and Spider-Man, as well as that two-pack that I mentioned earlier with Spider-Man and Iron Man based off the movie. And there's going to be a two-pack with Spider-Man and Mary Jane. I think that's a Toys R Us one. And there's also going to be um, a, a classic kind of a Cyclops and Dark Phoenix two-pack. Which I'm not sure where that's going to show up at. There's also an exclusive Lady Thor figure. And there's going to be also an exclusive, I believe, five-pack, no, sorry, six-pack female wave. All the main and majority of the female heroes. As you can see, there's the names of all of them. So Loki, She-Hulk, all of them in there. Really cool. And on a few cool things, I saw the Diamond Select Spider-Man based off the movie, uh, Spider-Gwen um, from the comic book, as well as a Wolverine from, I believe, I can't remember the company's name, but it looks pretty cool. You can do that Wolverine pose like in the comic book or in the video game, uh, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom. And then we have another Spider Gwen from Revolt Tech there. I know a lot of people are excited about this because they're doing Spider Man Venom already. And this Gwen looks pretty neat. Changeable heads. You can have her mask and unmask. So, really, really cool and really nice looking figure. <laughs> 